Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Man United could be exploring a new deal for Anthony Martial with pay cut. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag confirmed that talks are ongoing with Rafael Varane and Anthony Martial after the extension clauses on their contract were not triggered. The Red Devils are aiming to negotiate reduced terms with Varane in the coming weeks, but we won't be surprised if they make a similar proposal on the table to Martial. The Frenchman is one of the longest-serving players at the club, but his playing times has reduced over recent seasons amid his inability to stay fit over extended spells. He has been sidelined through illness over the past few weeks, Anton Hag has already confirmed that he won't be available for the upcoming FA Cup third round tie at Wigan Athletic. With this in mind, United are quite clear that they don't want to extend his deal beyond June 2024 unless he accepts a reasonable pay cut on his current wages of £250,000 a week. The £36 million signing has not done enough to justify the salary paid over recent years. At 27, he is no longer a guaranteed starter and he may have to adapt to a rotational role. United currently have Rasmus Hoyland as the main striker after the huge outlay to sign him from Atalanta. The Red Devils are aiming to pursue another centre forward on loan. RB Leipzig striker Timo Werner could be an option until the summer before the club invest on a new marksman. There is a good possibility that Martial could become the third choice striker if he stays next season. United could ask him to accept a 50% pay cut to extend his deal. Varane could be handed a similar offer considering his frustrating injury record. The World Cup winner has already missed over 30 games for United since his arrival in July 2021. Manchester United ready to sell Rafael Varane for 30 million euros this month amid interest from Al Nasser and Al Ittihad. Manchester United are ready to sell French centre back Rafael Varane for 30 million euros this month, according to Football.news. The Red Devils have opted against activating the 12 month extension option in his current contract, and he will leave for free at the end of the season if a new deal on reduced wages cannot be agreed. Man United are unwilling to lose Varane for nothing, and Saudi Pro League, Duyo Al Nasser and Al Ittihad are interested in recruiting his services. The 30 year old currently earns £340,000 per week at the Old Trafford Club, and while the Red Devils are no longer interested in paying him that much, beyond the end of the campaign, the Saudis could offer him significantly more. His former Real Madrid teammates Karim Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo are earning big bucks at Al Ittihad and Al Nasser, respectively, and both clubs will be ready to make the Man United star one of their biggest earners. The Red Devils regard his current wages as hard to justify, given the injury problems and manager Eric Ten Hag's selection preference that have restricted him to just seven Premier League starts in 23-24. With Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans ahead of him in the pecking order, before the former got injured, Varane could be back on the bench once the England international is fit again, and taking a pay cut to remain at the club is unlikely to appeal to him. Having declined to take up the January 1 deadline to activate the one-year extension in his contract, the former France international is free to hold talks with foreign clubs over a summer transfer. If a move to Saudi this month falls through, a summer exit will remain on the cards. Jaden Sancho set for Dortmund move with only tax details to be sorted. Jaden Sancho's nightmare spell at Manchester United appears to be drawing to a close with a temporary return to Borussia Dortmund one step away from being finalized. That's according to German newspaper Bild, reporting that only the smallest tax details remain to be clarified before the transfer is given the green light by all parties. The overall package for Sancho's loan move will cost Dortmund approximately 3 million euros, while the player is poised to sign a six-month contract ahead of a reunion 
with Dortmund. The England international set United back £73 million when he landed his dream move to Old Trafford in the summer of 2021. However, his career at the Theatre of Dreams swiftly went off script following a slow adaptation period and a nasty public fight with manager Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag banished Sancho from the first team squad, forcing him to train with the club's academy set up in September to protect the dressing room team spirit. The discord stemmed from Sancho accusing Ten Hag of dishonesty regarding his training performance, leading to his exclusion from the squad that faced Arsenal on September 3. With Sancho refusing to apologize, the relationship between the pair became irreparable and a mid-season exit was inevitable. Having failed to feature in a competitive fixture since the fallout, Sancho's exile is now nearing an end, with Dortmund determined to finalize a deal. In the early part of the January transfer window, Sancho previously enjoyed a successful four-year spell with Dortmund from 2017 to 2021, notching 50 goals and 64 assists in 137 matches. The 23-year-old dropped the curtain on his time with Dortmund by helping the club lift the German Cup in 2021, netting it twice in the 4-1 final win over RB Leipzig. However, Sancho has struggled to replicate his exceptional form at Old Trafford, bagging just 12 goals and 6 assists in 82 games. Flamingo reached out to Manchester United about possible Facundo Pellestri transfer. Brazilian giant Flamingo reportedly established contact with Manchester United to inquire about the possibility of signing Facundo Pellestri. It's believed that Pellestri could be one of the United players to depart the club in January. This season, he has managed only 13 appearances for United and just 363 minutes of football across all competitions. During a season in which the United forwards have struggled to have an impact, Pellestri has been unable to break into the team. In particular, the Red Devils have massive issues in the right-wing position. Anthony has been extremely poor, coupled this with Jaden Sancho's banishment from the first team and Ahmad Diallo's long recovery period from injury, and it's puzzling why Pellestri hasn't been afforded more minutes. A recent report covered by the People's Person revealed that United are not only considering sending the Uruguayan out on loan, but permanent offers will also be entertained. It was relied that the player was told as much by the club. League One giants, Nice, who are owned by Sir Jim Radcliffe's Inouyes, are thought to be admirers of the United star. There is also admiration from Spain, Italy and the Netherlands for Pellestri. According to Uruguay-based journalist Sibas Giovanelli, Flamingo are another outfit that would be keen on adding Pellestri to their ranks. Indeed, Giovanelli says that Flamingo asked United about the 22-year-old's availability. This is not the first time Tite's side have been linked to Pellestri. In January 2023, it was relied that the Brazilian outfit were in talks with United for a possible loan deal involving Pellestri. However, Fabrizio Romano later explained that Flamingo was no longer an option for Pellestri, who went on to stay at Old Trafford. Giovanelli does not clarify whether Flamingo's renewed interest is for a permanent transfer or a loan move. Man United defender Alvaro Fernandez is Benfica's next priority target. Manchester United left-back Alvaro Fernandez is the next priority target for Benfica this month, according to Portuguese publication record. The Primera Liga champions recently secured an agreement with Santos to sign a striker Marcos Leonardo. They agreed to pay 18 million euros for his services. Record claimed that Benfica will now turn their attention to Fernandez who is currently on a season-long loan deal at Granada from the Red Devils. The club have already spoken with both Granada and United. They plan to sign the Spaniard for 7 million euros while parting ways with David Jurassic. Fernandez has managed less than 500 La Liga minutes for struggling Granada this term, but he did start the tunnel win over Cadiz on Wednesday. 
The 20-year-old was involved with United during preseason last summer, but he has yet to make a competitive appearance for the club. It was suggested that he could stay after Tyrell Malasia's knee injury, but United preferred to sign Sergio Regulon on loan from Tottenham Hotspur. Regulon has returned to Spurs after a break clause was triggered in his contract, but this is unlikely to change the position of Fernandez. Malasia is anticipated to return at some point this month. Aside from him, United have Luke Shaw and Diogo Dallo, who can comfortably slot at left back. Hence, we are not surprised that Fernandez has been linked with an exit. In our view, United may want a sell on clause to be included as part of the deal. If Fernandez were to become a top class defender in the future, the Red Devils could directly benefit financially as Benfica tend to set high price tags. Eric Tanhag should drop Anthony and start Amad Diallo versus Wigan Athletic. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag should choose Ahmad Diallo over Anthony on the right wing when the Red Devils face Wigan Athletic in the FA Cup third round on Monday night. Anthony has had a frustrating season across all competitions and he has yet to score or assist in 21 appearances against Nottingham Forest. He was hardly involved with no attempts on goal while being dispossessed 12 times in 54 minutes. Amenor Nock saw him replaced by Ahmad Diallo for his first appearance of the season. The Ivoirian was far better than his teammate. He completed 94% of his passes compared to Anthony's 78%. He had one shot on target and won 100% of his duels, losing possession just once. In our opinion, the manager should drop Anthony and start Ahmad on the right wing on Monday. Marcus Rashford and Alejandro Garnacho fired impressively out wide against Aston Villa, but one of them could be rested. United are up against a League One opposition with respect, and they should win the game with a convincing scoreline. There has been talk of Ahmad leaving on loan in January, but he has the chance to prove his credentials with a strong performance. We believe he has the potential to become a key player for United in the long run if he can stay unscathed and find consistency. The 21-year-old impressed last season at Sunderland with 14 goals and 4 assists, but unfortunately picked up any injury in a preseason. He needs to deliver his best showing at the DW Stadium to persuade Ten Hag that he should stay at United for the season run-in. Atalanta aware of Man United interest in signing Giorgio Scalvini, asking the price revealed. Manchester United will need to pay at least 60 million euros to sign Atalanta centre-back Giorgio Scalvini during the January transfer window, according to Alfredo Pedula. The Red Devils have been linked with multiple centre-backs this winter. It was recently reported that they are advanced discussions to sign Scalvini from Atalanta. Padula has now revealed that the Serie A outfit are aware of United's interest in the 20-year-old, but they are reluctant to part ways with him for less than 60 million euros. The journalist added that only a monster bid would persuade them to part ways with the Italian. The Red Devils are likely to reinforce their central defensive department this year. Victor Lindelof recently had his contract extended for another 12 months, but he will enter the final year of his deal in the summer. The Swede could head for the exit door. Meanwhile, Rafael Varan could leave on a free transfer. The Red Devils have opted against triggering an extension clause to keep him at the club beyond June 2024. The club will want to invest on Marcus Hunterbacks to replace the deal. Scalvini would be a quality acquisition considering his young age and room for progress. The Italian can play in the right and left centre back roles. He operates in a back three at Atalanta. His distribution has room for improvement, but he is a strongly built defender. He has won an impressive 68% of his aerial challenges in the current Serie A season. Scalvini also averages 2.1 tackles, 2.1 interceptions, 2.4 clearances, and 5.6 recoveries per game. He has all the hallmarks to become a world-class central defender in the future. With financial fair play issues, we don't see United pursuing a deal this month. 
unless Varan moves to Saudi Arabia in a big money transfer, and a deal for Scalvini could be delayed until the summer. French football expert claims that he can't see a January move for Nice defender Jean-Claire Todibo. A January move for Jean-Claire Todibo is improbable and the player will likely stay in Ligue 1 until the summer. This is according to French football expert Jonathan Johnson, who claimed in an interview with Cout Offside that he can't see a January move for the talented defender. Johnson believes that Nice's successes this season is a key reason why the defender will stay and by waiting until the summer, there will be greater interest from a range of other teams, giving the Frenchman more choice on his future club. Nice sits second in the table at the halfway stage and they are only five points of the leaders, Paris Saint-Germain. Moreover, Tottenham and Man United have both been linked heavily to the player, but it's argued by the expert that Todibu and most likely Nice will want more clubs in the mix to generate an auction for the highest fee. In fact, United have been described to be in pole position to sign the player due to new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe's position of power at both clubs and Spurs' desire to complete a quick deal, taking their interest elsewhere and dropping out of the deal. While recognizing the previous statements as true, Johnson asserted in his interview that Jean-Claire Todibo was a top target for Tottenham in January, but that now looks to have collapsed. I understand the interest in him after his fine form at Nice with the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea also linked with the player, but I can't see Nice selling him this January. He went on to state, Nice are doing well in League One at the moment, so this was always going to make it a tricky deal for any clubs to get done this January. Todibo and Nice are probably both prepared to stay together for the next few months and then come to a decision in the summer. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.